What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you my first impressions of Black Tail, a relatively recent indie title that released back on December 15th that sees you living the legend of the witch Baba Yaga. And one thing this game does very well is blend a sort of vibrant fantastical setting with more dark and sinister undertones. We, of course, play as Yaga, who is looking for her lost sister Zora, who she is prone to following around. However, in this search, we come across a sort of disembodied voice that is speaking to us and kind of guiding us along a general path of objectives as we meet all sorts of strange and fantastical beasts. Now, I imagine, given the game's description of being about the legend of Baba Yaga and us being named Yaga, that the story will take us on the transformation that happens along the way. But interestingly enough, there are a few mechanics that seem to, at the very least, play into this, because there's a morality system of good and evil. Various actions you take throughout the game, such as helping animals or killing them, that kind of thing, will push your morality one way or the other, which is supposed to affect how various people see you in the title, which certainly sounds like an interesting premise, though I have yet to see too many of the repercussions from that, but there is a morality system at play, and I'm curious to see how that winds up taking form. Now, beyond that, we're, of course, playing as essentially a witch, which means we get all sorts of various powers, and once we find the hut, we can use the cauldron there to brew up various potions that will enhance our abilities and allow us to do different things. Now, pretty much all of the combat is archery-based, as I'm sure you can see on screen, and we get various powers and tools to augment that, as well as different arrow types, but we unlock these abilities and things by gathering up resources in a sort of very light amount of survival mechanics that see us gathering various resources and then turning those into both our arrows and things that we need to participate in combat with, as well as, of course, actually getting our abilities. Beyond that, though, the world is relatively open world. You sort of get abilities that allow you to traverse like other sections, and I understand there's a sort of season system, so relatively open world, though, and you'll run around this world gathering up your materials, finding the ingredients you need to craft more powers, that kind of thing. There's even big optional bosses you can fight, and along the way, you'll be running into sort of fantastical creatures, such as a bunch of talking mushrooms, a black cat that works as a sort of fast travel system for you, alongside, of course, various enemies such as gnolls, evil mushrooms. Though the one thing I really want to stress in my first impressions is the storytelling itself. So for starters, we don't really seem to, at least at the very beginning, have a clear idea of what's actually going on here. A lot of things are told to you very cryptically and then not explained, and then you're presented with options of tackling those objectives to get you to where you need to be, all while sort of trying to unravel all of this. But like I said, the world is very vibrant, and yet everything else seems to have this very sinister undertone to it, where despite the world being very vibrant and colorful, it still kind of feels like everything's trying to kill you, which makes for this very ominous presence in the background, which I think is probably the best part about the game so far, at least as far as my first impressions go. Now, that said, that's pretty much all I've got for you as far as first impressions. It seems pretty interesting. The progression seems okay. It's my understanding the game's relatively short, so I'm curious how the progression's going to wind up feeling across the entirety of the game. But I imagine I'll have my answer pretty quickly, as it is my understanding this is a relatively short title, which means I'm not expecting it to take me very long to 100% this one, and then I will do the review. Which is why I chose to tackle this one, as I was left with a kind of weird amount of time in between my last game and Forspoken releasing in a couple of days, and I figured I could fit this title in between those two. But overall, first impressions wise, the game seems very interesting. It certainly got my attention as far as the storytelling goes, and the gameplay certainly seems solid as well. But that is all I've got for you guys. If you're looking forward to the review, certainly like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, and stick around as I don't imagine this one will take me very long. But regardless of all of that, truly, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.